with Falco because the Shine's gonna really gonna send him up. But it's, it's something I think it's really important to think about as a Fox player. As soon as he got the Shine, he turned around. Uh, he did a turnaround Shine and he grabbed the ledge. Now that's good presence of mind, and I wanted to make note of that, especially in singles, because sometimes you get that Shine spike, but there's still a little bit of room for your opponent to get back to the stage. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to get too comfortable. Yeah, so for somebody to say, go off, get the shine, but still have the presence of mind to get that turnaround so they are able to grab the side of the stage, that just really sets them up to win neutral. Even if, if they're playing as a Sheik, say that. Um, not only is the Sheik not going to be able to grudge the ledge, but if she gets back to the stage, you can hit her off in the back air or something like that. All right, guys, we are back into Grand Finals. We have the rematch, but Fearless and Gata coming in this time on the winner side. Definitely a classic team. These guys have been around the block. Yeah, Fearless and Gatsu, yeah, they they got that team synergy. They're the Vape Bros, man. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say, they're-, they're They feel their energy Ultra the homies. Vape. Been teaming since, like, way back in the day, yeah. lived together, they got that, like, when they when they play, it's almost like you know you're hanging out at your house. Yeah. It's just you and your bro. You got that that extra like mentality boost. And these guys are very similar in personality as well. Yeah, so they got the I love seeing them together. glasses beard combo. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like uh, older and younger versions of each other. <laughs> I mean, if, if you meet them, they're really chill, really fun to hang out with. All right, so but getting into this. Game one blue team is actually doing pretty well right here. Area trying to avoid as much as possible. Alright, we got to this big call out with that uh raptor boost. Yep. Mm. Momo saying I wanna go in immediately. Harriet saying I wanna chill on the platform for a little bit. Collect my thoughts. Harriet actually looking very nice and neutral. Tries to follow it up just in case he needs to, then jumps right back into the action versus the Peach, but now jumping back toward Gatsu, realizing where his teammate was, and deciding to try to pressure him as much as possible. Yeah. That's the worst, you try to tech and get that air dodge. That is the worst, man. That's the, that Phantoms, the two things. Just one of the melee sins. Ooh, very good swag standing laser. Oh, man, the clock the gun sideways. Look at that, 7%. And uh, Clean Fearless and losing, the, losing that stock. Oh, big combo from Momo. And he follows it up. He's still going. Yeah, he followed it up on the opponent, like the other opponent. Good presence of mind. Ooh, accidentally uh, gimping his teammate there. All right, that was. I think really it's a, I think big. it's completely fine to take the stock here. Yeah. They're, they're basically like it's one peach. I mean, one hit and the peach is yeah. gone. The they big thing about peach is one hit and you're already at 50. You know. Yeah, you just don't want to get caught by the down smash here. Oh. All right. <laughs> Maybe your teammate will do it for you, honestly. But like, regardless, Gatu did a lot of damage right away. If he's able to find. Any footing here, it's gonna be big. Momo really likes those down airs. I um, in a situation like that, I can't help but feel like back air might be better because like Gatsu's really good at getting that that smash GI into the stage and teching. When you want it, you want to set him off stage. Yeah. You know, when you're Falco, you just want to swag out, man. And he loves down, down air is like the ultimate swag <laughs> material. Uh, the thing is, you know, sometimes you're like, all right, I gotta win this match at some point. He's got those big metal feet. <laughs> yeah, man. So this is size 14, 10. Think about it. Like, look how many twists he does with that back, with that down here, man. Look at that. It's like 20 twists in like half a second. He's just spinning. Yeah, he's a ballerina, man. Check out this 360. <laughs> so we're here back on Battlefield. Definitely uh, as expected, I would say. Bobo elected to go to the middle of the stage. Said, I don't want to play those ledge games. I like that. I like the positioning from Harry. You know, he covered himself around, you know, the perimeter of this triangle, man. This is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I'm gonna good spacing. Not him. Up. Not Harry. Ooh! I'm surprised you got that down here, honestly. Yeah, he's just direction. I like that. Just down here and 
<laughs> for days. You see that? But like, he, he shot lasers both directions, and then he started covering his face. Falco's got like all the hits on his shine, he can just kind of like, he's like a couple seconds, he's like, which move do I want to use next? <laughs> That's true, man. Yeah, his, his combo game is pretty funny. Like with Fox, it's like you get a shine, you have to like immediately follow up. With Falco, you get a shine, you get like you get like a little like a, a second buffer. <laughs> what am I gonna do next? Just chilling out. He's a cool guy, just taking his time. Yeah, man. Falco is definitely the ultimate cool guy character. Yeah. I think. It's like you're you're playing a chess match, but it's not time. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take my time, baby. Casual chess. Match. <laughs> Playing in the mail with your friends. Yeah, we're, we're at the park. I'm gonna look at the doves. <laughs> Ooh. Did you see that? Gatsu saying, wake up from that daydream. Gatsu <laughs> was able to slide off the ledge right there. Like, like you know how when you land on the ledge, sometimes you can just edge cancel it uh, when you don't tech, or maybe you did tech there. And he just came off with the, the forward air instantly. Awareness. Keep it! Oh, wow. Alright. This is looking a lot like last game. Yeah. But out of nowhere, like I might say. Yeah, it was... It definitely cleaned up pretty quick yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, it was always in blue team's favor, I would say, for the majority of that match. But definitely that day. You know. I mean, the on, on pace for a quick reset right now. Yeah. Back. To, that's the Gatsu special. Right back to Battlefield. He was doing that earlier. Dude, it's, it's the battle, man. He just, I guess he really likes the stage. It's definitely one of Falcon's better stages. I'd say it's like, it's either that or Dreamland for best. You mean one of his own stages? <laughs> yeah. Don't, man, don't, Falcons are still out here doing stuff, man. Don't do my boy like that. <laughs> 20 GX is real. All right. Off the stage here. What's God's gonna do? Gonna drop down back here. Classic mobile material. He's gonna just bombard each with a lot of stuff. But got to man, jumping into the fray with a knee, hitting both uh, Harriet and Momo. Trying to open something here. Harriet trying to wait for his opponent to have an opportunity to follow up on the throw combo. Up smash out of shield. Poorly timed there. Ended up clipping Momo, not the peach. I think he was going to like capitalize off the of Momo's there. Whoa! Double knee off of a get-up attack. He's so quick, man. Fearless is also pretty. He makes he makes Peach look pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, you know, he plays Falco himself. Uh, Falco's one of those characters that I think it's important to think three steps ahead, but also know, you know, like Peach, your moves have very little ending flag to them. So you're, you're always thinking about what I'm going to throw out next to keep playing safe, you know? Uh, and so you know, I think he has good presence of mind in that, in, in that way. Falco and Peach are both the, those some of those characters that they're not quite as quick as like Fox or Falcon, but like if you really know how to move with your character, you can you can compensate yeah. and really speed it up. I mean, when right. they're moving, they're moving. And so, dude, huge turnaround yeah. from game one. Fearless and two. did a really good job of uh, holding on to the stocks this game. Yeah. Combo. That up smash poking on that platform. Yeah. That looked a little bit silly, but they covered everything. Yeah. yeah I don't think he was going to make it back uh, with two characters off stage. Like. <laughs> Look at those sheep. Oh, it's gone now. So, uh, Fearless and Gatsu saying you can't reset the bracket that easy. Wow. Look at this. They did this in winners. Is this these two teams against each other? They just went battlefield the whole time. I'm telling you, man. Are we gonna see? If it goes to game ten, are we gonna see ten games on battlefield? Hey, we're at CFL Weekly, man. We're fun. Is definitely an option. These guys want to win, but they also want to have the most fun. And I feel like battlefield is definitely the most fun. I honestly, I just feel like uh, Yoshi would be much better for, for these for these guys. Sorry for these. I need I need to clarify. I hate battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I definitely think uh, Fox Falco would do, oh, and he caught the stitch, yeah. Press oh no, advantage. but his teammate getting hit by the stitch. I think uh, Fox Falco would do a lot better on Yoshi's against this team than on, on Battlefield. I don't know, man. Fearless is kind of scary on that stage. True. 
That's just that's just personal anecdotal, but yeah, yeah, it could vary from player to player, but I. I just feel like you could suffocate Peach pretty well with two spaces in a, in a close space like that. Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, Falcon, too, like, he likes that room yeah. to run around. I mean, but it's an on-paper thing, you know? Uh, Maybe they just, like, they had an agreement. It was, like, gentlemen to Battlefield only yeah. before the set. Hey, we're just going to go straight to Battlefield the whole time. And if you, if you, if you don't go to Battlefield, it's like you're chain-grabbing a sheep ditto. <laughs> There's nothing worse, baby. Ultimate grind PR. You know something's grimy if even like Mewtwo King doesn't do it. You <laughs> know it's grimy. <laughs> like Mr. Optimal. Mr. Optimal. <laughs> They're looking a little better this game. Uh, Gatsu at a high percent. Here you can get a nice up air here. That's what I love about like Gatsu is he's really great at being stock tank sometimes, and then his, his teammates really good at being stock tank sometimes. Like when he understands his position, I'm at high percent. I need to play perimeter. I need to follow up when I can. That's immensely important. Yeah, not going so Yolo ham and cheese. I only steal that. Eh? <laughs> Ooh, oh big combo. Yeah, remember we were talking about like Peach has a, a lot of different options to kind of stay safe in between stocks. Uh, the Captain Falcon does it, man. Oh, and right away, oh. blue team. Oh, I was about to see the lead, but this might be a stock. Oh yeah, see, like I think that yeah, this might be the reset here. Peach is at high percent. They got they got fresh, clean stocks on oh, both spaces. Smash the eye, though. We saw that. Yeah, and this is the thing like. You don't want to be on a one and two situation as Captain Falcon. That's, oh. I would say that's probably one of his biggest weaknesses in doubles. For sure. Especially with like two uh, higher tier characters. The one thing you have is from ledge. If he's able to find a knee or something big straight from ledge or coming down, it's huge, but as soon as you're off stage like that, there's almost nothing you can do. He's just got such uh, predictable recovery. Uh, some characters have like the, the two. You got know, like the side B and the up B yeah, generally, man. but like he's he's got like Falcon Kick for that extra double jump, and then that up B is just like very very predictable. Not not a lot of aerial mobility. Pretty slow. So we're gonna jump into this. We are at the second round of Grand Finals. Thanks for everyone tuning in. We have Fields and Gatu, Eric Momo. And you know, like blue team did really well, but red team was starting to catch their stride. Fearless getting that. Good edge guard on Momo, clean. That's what they need to do to get those clean uh, early percent kills. Yeah. And, like when the spaces are off stage, so you have to capitalize because like they have so much presence on on stage. Oh yeah. yeah these are they're tall guys, you know. Peach, <laughs> Peach, uh, kind of Falcon. They're the power couple, man. Big boys. Uh, not get the shine spike, but it worked out anyway. <laughs> hey, that's a really good capitalization off the down throw. Down throw is interesting because, like, if they don't smash you out of the lasers, you can generally get a pretty good follow up on on reaction. But if they, uh, if you, if you smash you out of the lasers, like, and you roll away, it's, it's actually kind of hard to get a follow up. So it's what it's like the 50-50. Are they gonna, or are they not gonna? Yeah. Falcon also has like a kind of a slow tech roll. Really? Uh, I. It's not like super. It's not like a. Uh, it's like, not like Bowser. Slow. Yeah, yeah, not like Bowser slow, but like it's not as fast as uh, other characters. That is something to like understand in general in this game. You know, back here's the big hit. You know, there's certain things that are very similar. You know, up beside you, like you were talking about, both can be used for recovery, but certain things are character specific, and you have to understand. And even little small things like get up attack. Yeah. Or uh, something like that. You know, like Mars get up that of course. A know? lot of people don't know too, like if you're um, if you're on your stomach, you have a different get up attack, get up attack compared to your back. So yeah. like Captain Falcon has a really good one where he does like the, the spinning back the spinning or, kick. Oh that's uh, his front, right? His I, back is the front flip with his feet. Yeah, yeah, that back. one's not as good. Really? It's still it's, it's still pretty good. It's like a decent hitbox, but like the, the spinning kick it's like it's quick. It's got it covers like a, a wide angle and like a pretty fast push. So I was kind of talking about seeing if a uh, red team had their momentum, oh, but <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I was definitely uh, biting my tongue that game. Was. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy!
Fearless got to channeling their inner broness, their hominess. We gotta think about what are we gonna do here? How are we gonna uh, you know, change the tides, control the moon? Ooh, not battlefield. <laughs> Amazing. Is this it? <laughs> is this the ultimate counter? It's crazy because I said that this would be good for, for the other team. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, dude. You don't know Fearless on this stage, baby. Let's see if you can prove me wrong. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh. I'm not so sure. It's looking looking like a uh, got the advantage right now. So Momo is doing a really good job of like. He's applying the pressure, but he, he's not like getting a little too reckless with it. We were seeing earlier in the set. I think he's playing a little safer now, which is smarter. Yeah, and I think it's true. Like if you're playing safe, then you are safe in the middle. That's usually goes with the territory, right? And so if you're just controlling the center, you know, controlling the pyramid, then uh, your homie's just chilling on the outside, waiting for you to find something, or waiting for your opponent to get a little reckless on how they're gonna try to combat your teammate. It's uh, Fox Up Smash killing Peach so early on this stage. And me killing Fox. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be an XD from Love Fearless, but he did have a second jump and he was able to get back. And he's going to try to follow up on this platform on the left side. Oh, but a teammate helping out Momo and even killing off the top. Momo not getting that, uh, that dare timing. Ended up getting punished with that uh, down smash. All right, if red team wins, I'm gonna tell you why this is the all like why I think fearless is really good. At this I don't know, dude. I'm I'm sticking with my with my uh, original. Um... I don't know. Red team's doing pretty well right now. Man. Oh, that up tilt though. That's the. Uh, that's oh. That's a new fox meta, man. The up tilt as a. Uh, like a really good kill move, you know? It, it's safe, you know, it's safe. Sorry. Uh, I, I'd be a little salty about that pause. But, uh, eh, looking like I don't think don't these guys much. really care. Yeah, yeah. It's happened enough. It only matters if you got hit in between it, you know? If, if it made you get hit. Harry cleans it. Yeah, see, this is this is doable. Oh, oh. so I've got to sneaking back. Yes, nice. I like that. It covers the tech in the knee or the miss tech, and then we also have uh, taking a strange option there, taking the letting go of the ledge, going for a n not that safe back air on a shield. It's a little, a little weird. Would have probably liked it to go for a ledge dash instead, but uh, they're both sitting there on the I mean, stage. Dude, it's so. me, man. Yeah, yeah. It's don't, don't, don't question. That's the thing. All right, so this is what I was gonna say. Fearless finds down smashes all day on that stage. Every time I've seen him play doubles on that stage, he gets down smashes. They won here. Hey man, <laughs> it's Battlefield. Who's gonna Who's gonna deny Battlefield? A good old brawl. I oh, thought man. that. I thought I he thought just. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was the quickest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone has their own little the special. You know, yeah. the, that's the Cobalt special, or that's Gatsu special. Momo, I think he's he's really wants shining off the top to be like his thing. Yeah, that's like PPS. PP did that a lot against like a Hbox, the double shine. But PP's thing was definitely forward air. Oh, true. Yeah, he implemented it pretty well. <laughs> Crazy interaction with the Falcon up. <laughs> Looking pretty even. Yeah, pretty even. I think that uh, what they really need to do is like start pressuring um, Gatsu to the edge more. They're letting him like kind of run free this game. I actually do want to mention, you, you said it's looking pretty even, but I want to mention two things. Mm -hmm. uh, Red team was about at knockdown percent. I hate when that happens in speech, by the way. The red team was about at knockdown percent, so that's great. Uh, but they also, blue team both respond at the same time. That means both can, can drop down instantly, instantly control the center of the stage with a little bit of invincibility and control the entire pace 
of the next 10, 20 seconds possibly. So that's the only way I, I wasn't going to say it's completely even. Because that's, that's a big thing to... You know, it's a little bit deeper, but that's something to think about. Harriet saw what I was looking for. You see that Momo was throwing out the lasers to keep them from approaching him, and then he started throwing out the shines as, as soon as they kind of got into his face. The, like, get off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to try to stay safe. Ooh. Catch him out of that jump. Yeah, low angle too. Ooh, see, like, right here, wow. Momo's doing a really good job of covering high wall. Harriet holds the edge. Classic team that dark. Just roll up through that forward smash. Yeah. Oh, Katsu. Talk to him. Talk to them. This is looking pretty great for Red Team now. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't agree with the stage pick. But uh, I think this isn't like... Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna see if they go to stadium now. Nuts that he, like, Momo was going like 100 miles an hour after yeah. that meme, he still hit him with that. <laughs> yep. I mean, like, we're talking about how, like, oh my goodness, these guys are crazy. We're talking about, like, uh, Falcon's kind of dead in the water in two on one situations, but two on one situations with Falcon and Peach, oof. it's kind of nasty, man. There's something about this stage. I guess they really like it, dude. It's the it's the classic screensaver background. <laughs> the, the star galaxy coming at you. Very very pretty. Stage. Yeah, man. They're just trying to reminisce, get their vapor wave on. I really like the way this one looks, and I really love uh, FOD. I like Destination, man. When I was a kid and I first got to Crazy Hand, and it changed. I was like, whoa, it's a new world. Got that loud symphony in the background too. I, I was really bad at the game back then. <laughs> I never got that far. Oh, off the top again, Momo. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I really want to see some down air into up smash. I haven't seen that yet today. It's always a, a fun one, Fox Falco. All right, Momo. Well, it's actually looking really great on the side of the stage. That laser just saved Harriet. Yeah, he, uh, he saved him before too with the the firebreak. These guys are living, but this might be it. Oh, great angle. Yeah, Harriet, pretty good DI, but not enough to save him. Pretty high percent. Oh, no, got to. That down smash goes so low. Wow. All right. The tides have turned. Yeah, they really... Ooh, got to calling him out with that stomp. See, the got does this... I, I see him do this in singles a lot, but... He's just hanging out on that top platform because he's like, if you approach me, like, I can, I can keep you out safely. Yeah. Man. I don't, I don't have to like come at you. Presence of mind. You saw that? That's a big turnaround too because that was their edge, right? The stock. So if you, if you are able to capitalize and uh, get that edge back instantly, oh, that's big. <laughs> Saying like, the star. Go Ooh. That's also big. Oh man, where would these jump. lives go? They're playing a lot, a lot better this game. I guess the they really wanted to be like, you know, it, it's not the stage. I was just like, I was messing up. Take it back to battlefield. I'm trying to prove something. Getting ready for this game five. Yeah. Frame perfect. Quit out. Game five. Grand final. Game set two. Game nine. Yeah. I thought it was game ten, but game game nine. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about. Different set though. The winners finals too. Ooh. Yeah. There's a lot of games. Ooh, you're right. This is like these guys are playing games. This is like game twelve. I'm playing games with my heart. <laughs> playing games with all the people who want to watch singles. <laughs> they're they're talking, they're like, alright man, all we gotta do is we, we gotta we gotta get this beard glasses combo back. We gotta get our power together. Take a quick vape. Oh, we're about to start the bro down hoedown. Let's go. <laughs> Momo and Harriet exchanging some words too. That's a, uh, the, the Battlefield Kings opting not to go to Battlefield for uh, two of these games. Man. 
I definitely agree with this pick, though. Oh, definitely. This is this is the I want the money game. Yes. It's the game five. All right, this one's for all the marbles. Time to play Super Series. The Gatsu Power Up. Momo with that capitalization off the of shine. That soft hit of back air leading right into that down air. Solid combo. And Harriet's doing a really good job of like, he's not getting overtaken in these scuffles when it's him just by himself. He's playing pretty well uh, with yeah. these, these safe nares. He's like, great about that. Walling people out. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I'll take off that stock. Blue team, uh, solid, solid beginning on this stage. You're gonna have to see if Gatu finds his openings, and I think that's the thing because, you know, in general, Red Team's been doing pretty well playing close to each other. Now that they're a little bit separated, it's almost the opposite of effect that we would, like, really think would happen. And, you know, oh also, I want to know that, like, Momo getting the back air on the top platform, uh, usually that, that move sets you at an okay angle, but at that angle, there's no way you're gonna tech down toward the stage. Yeah. You're, you're just like a sit duck waiting for the, the, the next hit. Yeah. Especially in doubles, like, your partner can capitalize. Definitely. So many power shields in this set. It's actually incredible. Ooh, this pressure from Momo, man. He's not letting up. Yeah, definitely. Dude, Momo is the kind of player that you really don't want to be eating cereal while you're watching him. Because you're just going to, like, <laughs> at some point, going to spit it all over your spoon. You're going <laughs> to spill some milk. Yeah, man. Cheerios on the screen. Yeah, you got the Fruit Loops all over. <laughs> Crunch berries are all over the floor. <laughs> Shoutouts to Crunch Berries. <laughs> Going cuckoo for Momo, man. <laughs> <laughs> he is a bird, too. Yeah. <laughs> Momo, where's the red team? <laughs> Gotta get that uh, Coco Puffs bird. <laughs> yeah, if they can clean up the set guard, they're, they're gonna be in a pretty good position. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but these. The blender! Oh my god. The game changer! Oh my goodness. That that smoothie was so thick that Felix decided to run the cycle like five oh, extra times. He said, I don't like crunchy ice in my in my smoothie. Oh no, but killing his teammate. Okay, but he still has a stop. Don't worry about it. Momo's at a high percent too, so he's gonna have to play very safe here if they wanna keep pressing this advantage. They got some some good momentum right now. Fearless off stage at a high percent. He has to hold on to this. Ooh, that's a big throw. Well, that's even bigger back here. Harriet's still at 0%. This is... I, I can't count him out here. This is like... This is doable. <laughs> oh, oh, the mix-up, man. The weight. Didn't super commit to anything. Dude, Harriet? Why do this? It's like... Ooh. Dude, dude Harriet's gonna do this, baby. Don't curse him. Don't curse him. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Oh! Is edge guard? Oh. <laughs> Alright, I did not curse him, and this is why. That forward air from Peach was too good to be a curse. That was so smart. You cursed him! I didn't curse him. Right. I stand by that.